Now let's uh, start Amira. Again, I'll open our data and the model. So the model has these labels, uh, text in the beginning of the file name. Then I'll connect the labels to the actual data. Let's check this is the data. Then uh, see that's that's our data. Now we go to the model label fields, and then we make surface generator. These constraints smoothing apply. Okay, that's what we've got now. These are the two materials that we just segmented. One of them is this nuclear envelope, and another one is the lipid droplets. Uh, but now the nuclear envelope looks like just a plain membrane, but in fact there are some uh, uh, nuclear pores which are actually we can see in the data, but they are not in this, uh, like for example here, there is one, but they are not in the model. Uh, they can be easily segmented. So what we do now, we will actually, we again use the similar trick as we used with lipid droplets. So we'll use uh, masking with the local black and white thresholding. So what we need to do now, we need to select this uh, nuclear envelope that we segmented now. In order to do that, I can click on this select from material tool, press the right mouse button and say this is my new selection for all layers. Now you can see it in green. So now it's a little bit thinner than the actual, still a little bit thinner than the actual uh, width of the membrane. So I will continue, I will delay, grow this uh, probably a couple of times by pressing Shift X. And uh, maybe one more time, Shift X. Now I'll just go through this data set and maybe using the brush tool, I will fix a little bit the areas which are a little bit out of my uh, selected in green range. And there aren't that many of those, maybe just only a few. So again, I do quite rough uh, masking just probably just make sure that I may be only a little bit more careful in these areas when the nuclear envelope is next to some other organelle. Okay, like we have something here. So I can zoom in using W shortcut and zoom out using Q shortcut. Okay, now when the uh, this the nuclear envelope area is polished, we can assign it to the mask. So we select the mask in the add to list and press Shift R to replace the existing mask with the with the selection we just made. So now uh, when we have this nuclear envelope masked, we can select the black and white thresholding and just try to segment it using the masked area checkbox. So we just need to zoom in into the nuclear envelope and uh, figure out the coefficient so that we will see our nuclear pores. Oh, it could be something like that and then we click the all checkbox. As a result we segmented the nuclear envelope looks quite all right. So now what we'll do, we'll assign this selection, which is in green, to the second material of our model by selecting the two here in the add to list. And then I press shift R to replace the contents of my existing nuclear envelope, which was the this uh, brownish reddish structure. Okay, when it's done, I can go and then go model, save model as, again for the, just to check how it looks like, I can save it as the mirror mesh, and start a mirror, 
open data, labels, So that was our previous model, and the new model looks like this. So now we can see nuclear pores in the nuclear envelope. Um, there is possible one pro slight problem here and there, but uh, well, they can be manually fixed. So to the end this part, we go and then to the model and press save model to save it in the MATLAB format so that we can return back to this model later. To finish with these two models that we have, lipid droplets and nuclear envelope, it would actually be nice to do some uh, analysis of the statistics for this area to figure out whether there is some kind of uh, pixels or voxels that do not belong actually to these uh, materials. So in order to do that, we just click on this one of these materials. Let's start with lipid droplets. Press the right mouse button, and then we select Get Statistics. Then in the new window that appears, we select the 3D objects, and then make sure that the parameter that we want to un uh, calculate is the area. And then we just press the Run button. As a result, it uh, tells us that there are basically five large objects and there are a number of small ones. When I click on these individual objects, the window shifts and jumps to that object to put it in the center of the screen. So for example, if I go to here, then this is the smallest. So what we need to do, we need to select this, the, all the small objects from the statistics using the left mouse key and shift left mouse key and then press right mouse button and say that this is our new selection. Now we can see that these objects they are highlighted in green which is selection layer and now we can press, press shift S to subtract these selected uh, voxels from our material. Now, if we run again this analysis, we can see that now we have only these five big objects. We can basically do similar something like this for 2D objects. And the difference is that in this case, the objects will be calculated individually for each slice of the data set. And again, if we go to the smallest one, we can try to find the, some small voxels like this and also delete them. So let's find out. This is probably the beginning of the lipid droplet, so we'll keep it. This one is as well. And this one. But uh, everything which is less than 8 are just a noise. So we just highlight them and then subtract using Shift S. Then we'll do the similar for the nuclear envelope. We select nuclear envelope here, press the right mouse button click get statistics for 3d objects and then we also have something small which is this object and then few others so we can select this one press right mouse button click new selection now they are all green and then press shift s to subtract and then after that we can save the model save model s and then we save it as a matlab format